Sir, one of my favorites. Look at what he's got. Absolute insane. All right, I've got 16 12 inch NSV4s on 87500. <laughs> Those are the new Sundown Neos. The Neo motors don't take as much room, so they're smaller and look like oil filter cans. They did a lot of different things to these subs to be able to withstand a lot of abuse. And Scott Bowman did all the fabrications for all the metal work, and he fixed the roof for me. It's just layers of three quarter inch Baltic birch that we can take off and change tuning. This is just some hardwood flooring out of my cabinet shop from Africa, Acacia. Before, I just had the wood around the edges, and it leaked bad, and then Scott told me about the Dynaglass after we re enforced the top and he welded big huge strips across to, to tighten everything in. Three limitless lithium 100s in a special mill box by Scott Bowman. The amp rack to hold all those amps together in a confined space in the back and I'll go ahead and give you a view of that if you want to see it. The best I've ever got was a 66-1. But I just broke my demo dominator world record. A 61-1 at 28 hertz. McLaren Neos, they're small and compact and they sound good, but we're gonna switch to all sundown. We're having these implode from the base. They just can't handle the pressure. <laughs> Center console's made of maple and cherry hardwood that are scraps from the cabinet shop. And we're gonna do a rebuild this winter and come out with something a little better next year. That's like 20 seconds and the whole roll is obliterated. Yeah, plus we had all these up here. That was insane. Hey, Dude, they're in individual pieces. I could I could barely even What's blink. Up? Seriously, <laughs> my eyes, they're flapping. <laughs> Gracious, talk about some bass, huh? All of that force being generated from just a bunch of 12 inch subs. Granted, they're pretty big, stout mumba jumbas, but man, just seeing Chris and his intricate woodworking cramming that many subs, that wood evidently is three times harder than the wood that we see at like Home Depot and Lowe's. And what's even cooler for me is to know that Scott Bowman played a hand in this install. I don't know if you guys remember this, but he had a very big first impression on me. He had a build noted as the brown note. So I got in there hoping I would get a nice, awesome, relaxing demo. Little did I know I'm freaking holding my butt damn near crapping myself with so much bass made for a good set of laughs. But there he is sitting in the passenger seat getting smacked in the face with a bunch of paper towels. Our man, Chris Lee, just couldn't leave well enough alone. He added eight more drivers, so now he's got 24 and more power with his 7,500. All right, this one I got 24 12 inch NSV4s on 12 SCV 7500s. I've got two packs that were custom made by Kerry Stahl, Al Grandpa. They're mounted in the back right behind the first stack of amplifiers. They're 585 amp hours each, which means I'm getting almost 100 amp hour rating per each 7500. I used Brazilian cherry in it again, Brazilian walnut, and my goal was to keep all the subs as tightly knit together as possible. The whole van has got over 500 linear feet of 360 
16 one by two square steel tubing in the cage itself. The loading wall is solid three inch thick. You put a one inch thick concrete on the floor underneath it and still got a lot of work to do on the doors and the ceiling. My favorite part of car audio is just uh, having fun and meeting new friends and watching people's expressions when we turn it up. Almost 400 feet of eight gauge OFC speaker wire. We're gonna cut these off and get them reupholstered so there's all the mid range is behind it. Aha, uh -huh, I see. So you're just gonna lop it right off at the top? Yep, I'm not putting any door speakers in the, in the front doors at all. In the other truck, all I did was implode them. I had 16 of these McLarens and in a year and a half, I had six. I'm gonna finish covering all this in the Brazilian cherry and I haven't really announced it yet, but the floor is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna put Brazilian cherry on the floor too. Wow, this you, must here. Have, you must have access to some real good wood. Oh yeah, yeah. owning the cabinet shop has its benefits.
like some chocolate milk. Insanity may just be an understatement with this build, guys. Holy crap, 100,000 watts just on the subs. That's 12 7,500 watt amps just on base, let alone all of the power he has tied into his vocals. But damn, this build is truly a world-class bass machine, especially because it's designed to play music. You saw me basically withstanding the whole demo, all smiles over here. Peeking up into the upper 40s, still above 160 decibels all freaking day. But let me know what your loudest musical type system demo has been and the loudest SPL extreme type of build. I think I'm almost up into the 168 range for extreme SPL and for more musical demo domination type SPL. I think this is pretty high up there with a 166 peaking. And then again, the JY Cube is also very musical and very loud. Going to these events, some of the most heavy hitters show up and end up making me so embarrassed by the time I get home. I'm like, man, I can barely even hear my system anymore. Hello. And there we have it guys, another slamming set of car audio demos right here on the EXO channels, friggin' world record basin, hanging out with Chris and Scott Bowman. I've got a little giveaway for this video, just a set of Archier Bluetooth headphones because I really appreciate you guys being here, checking out the videos. I really put in a lot of effort into this. If you'd like to get in on this little giveaway, all you gotta do is drop us a comment letting us know what do you prefer when it comes to huge sound systems like this? Do you want a system that's more geared toward musical reproduction where it can play lows, mids, and highs, sounds good all around? Or do you want to get an exhilaration feeling, just oh my god, where it's kind of like a one note wonder making you friggin' grab your butt for dear life? And we'll get this out to you, just a random little comment and a random generator for our YouTube comments. All right, guys, until the next video, this is EXO signing out. Thanks for watching. <laughs>